Uh, today I'm going to explain how I have installed the Shelly controller it's a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth how I have connected it to my garage sliding door to control it via mobile phone or Google uh, Home or Alexa you can control it also it's the Wisniewski Intro 600 model and you see the model here and also this is the Shelly here and I have used the 12 volt connection directly from the garage motor and the controller so this type of uh, motor it's got some 12 volt uh, output also and signal input that's pretty convenient what you need is just to use the 12 volt dc electricity and also the signal input port and you don't need any like uh, extra power source to the shelly that's pretty neat and it's just super small and you just put it up there it works seems seamlessly I'm going to show you how did I install it there as you see here I want to just it's a little bit hard to show up here but uh, let's see if it's possible if I focus here it is PB GND which is I think ground PEM plus 12 the so plus 12 goes to 12 on Shelly plus 12 on the 12 on the Shelly and PB you see the green and yellow one PB goes to the zero and also the GND which is the is it the brown cable uh, and you know that PE and GND should be connected together it's somehow I don't know it's based on Wisniewski's uh, instruction and also you see two blue cables come out of GND and the brown is coming out of 12 then we check it here <coughs> if you have the overall view see the brown one goes to the 12 12 volt and the blue ones they've been connect I mean should be connected to the one and also it's L yeah and the green one goes to zero I hope it's clear here exactly then I'm going to set it up in the Shelly app which is pretty easy and straightforward okay i'm going to show in the shelly app how i'm uh, going to uh, so you see i have already added this device here this is the garage door but you're going to use this plus button and i prefer using uh, via wi-fi but if you use bluetooth it's gonna work but the range is maybe shorter but or maybe you need like a bluetooth hop or something and you select wi-fi and next then it's gonna scan your wi-fi i have already added it unless it's come it comes in the list and you need just to add it it's super easy and straightforward so what i do is go to the garage door when you did set up it then you need to set a 1.5 second timer 
and this sends 1.5 second like half a second of signal to the um, garage motor controller to understand if it needs to open a stop or close and you do it in the timer tab and you go to auto off you press this button then on turn off after half a second then you press save great and in garage door when I press the button it starts to close when I press the button again it stops and when I press again it opens it's really convenient and it works uh, from wherever you are and you see the <coughs> Shelly up there I just put it up here and it just works fantastic